So in this first Descendant video, I bring you an ultimate guide on the perfect all land Greg's reversed fate. I went into creating this build and video trying to create something stupid powerful but at the same time also create the perfect all round weapon which is efficient against all intercept bosses. A build which works with and against every elemental debuff on offer in this game. How's it going guys my name is DPJ now if you do enjoy the video consider leaving a like as it really helps me and the channel out. Also drop a comment down below and make sure you sub. If you do this you will automatically be entered into my weekly giveaway of an ultimate descendant. More details on that at the end of the video. So as I said this build is different. I wanted a single weapon build which I could switch between and lay down maximum damage to those bosses without having to faff about rearranging modules and that's what I bring you guys today. One weapon build which works against everything. Now I will state the weapon as a whole against a single dedicated target can be made slightly better but in regards to a weapon against all I think it'd be hard to match this Greg's reversed fate. But if you are here expecting the best build for this weapon I will also showcase to you guys what in my opinion is also the best build for this weapon which we'll get into at the end of the video but as always guys timestamps will be linked down below. So as you guys can see here we have four different setting types for this Greg's reverse fit. The difference between each setting is just one specific module put in place so the user can quickly switch between each setting depending on what they are facing. Now doing it this way does indeed mean that one module slot doesn't have that socket applied to it which results in small sacrifices being made elsewhere but I've tried my best to make it not that noticeable. So with this build I've tried to get as much crit damage, crit chance and weak point damage as possible making a void intercept by slaying machine. The gameplay used in this video is on my bunny with zero effect in regards to damage here coming from the build. It's all just weapon. So what you are seeing here guys is the minimum of what you can expect if you follow this build. Then guys you have the added benefits of your descendant if any which will only make this weapon better. Also the module sockets are applied to every slot in this footage besides that one I left blank purposely for those elemental burn enhancements. And yes, obviously guys, we have applied an energy activator too. So we are at a point now where I don't really feel the need to dissect the build with every specific number. I have however tried and tested many, many mods trying to get this to work. And we started off trying to add as much crit hit rate as possible. So this was kind of the basis of this build, the foundations, and I wanted to try and get around 50%. Now we are at 46% without any benefits added to the weapon via its sub stats, which we'll also check out later. So modules guys, starting with better insight. Maxing this module out will give you a plus 37% on that firearm critical hit rate, very very important. We then have insight focus, unleveled by the way. This adds an extra plus 8% but also at the same time gives you a plus 8% to that critical hit damage too. We then guys went for a rapid fire insight where we gain here a plus 14.9% fire rate but also a plus 1.5% to that critical hit rate. This also needs to be leveled up only 4 times people, no more. Onto that critical hit damage, we have a better concentration maxed out here, giving us a plus 48.8%. And then, guys, we use concentration priority, which gives us a further 47% here, with a reload time modifier of a minus 30%, though. We then have weak point sight fully maxed out for that plus 35% so that weak point damage. And then we have have aiming, which gives us a further 40% so that weak point damage which is a nice lump sum. Then guys you use rifling reinforcement fully maxed out giving us a plus 32% so that firearm attack and then guys we use action and reaction fully maxed out again gives us a further plus 61% on that firearm attack with a plus 20% in that recoil. 
And lastly guys, we then throw on either Electric Toxic Chill or the Fire Enhancement mods fully maxed out into that non-socketed module slot which gives us the weapon build complete for what we want it for a weapon we can quickly switch between depending on the boss we are fighting and lay down maximum damage guys that's basically what i wanted for this video that's what i wanted for this weapon but i do truly understand that this concept isn't for everybody but we will get on to what in my opinion is the best build for this weapon in a quick second but let's first let's check out the substats i have on mine which i think are actually really good we have that weak point damage firearm critical hit damage firearm attack along with the rare purple bonus firearm attack versus colossus if i had the materials to waste i'd probably roll this one trying to get the gold version of it or even a gold version of the firearm critical hit chance or critical hit rate that would be absolutely perfect okay so what about the best version of this weapon you can get one that isn't dedicated to a single elemental burn the most powerful and best version of this weapon in my opinion would consist of the following build so substats like i said same as what we have here just trying to get the gold version of the rare and you'll be gravy here so firstly every slot would need to have a socket applied to it which you can see on screen now the way i've gone now modules you want applied will have to be all maxed out too but what you'd want is weak point sight fire rate up better insight rifling reinforcement edging shot concentration priority action and reaction have aiming and then better concentration and for the last mod guys well it really consists of three depending on who you ask now i think most people have probably gone with a uh, fire conduct here which is a good choice when a second enemy is afflicted with burn firearm attack gains a plus 24 percent which is great with this weapon because those bombardments when they hit an enemy they become inflicted with burn so you're getting this plus 24 percent more or less straight off the bat so it's a great buff here i do however prefer real life fighter but there is an issue with this one also it does the following minus 20 percent accuracy upon successfully attacking that weak point firearm attack is at a plus 10 percent for five seconds up to 10 stacks but loses two stacks per failed weak point hit now the thing about this weapon under greg's reverse fate is the fact that those bombardments that fall from the sky make you lose these stacks but it's also important to note those bombardments that you trigger and can be triggered at any time after one burst or multiple bursts they also fall with that extra damage too so if you hit one burst those bombardments are still crashing down with that plus 20 percent firearm attack because there's two bullets per burst in a greg's reverse fate this is at a minimum if your Greg's Reverse Fate decides to drop those bombardments after three bursts of that weak point hit, now they are falling with a plus 6% firearm attack. Five bursts, guys, and it's at a maximum. And because we have that increased fire rate on this weapon, I mean, five bursts you splash out in absolutely no time at all. So even this module at its worst, it's only doing slightly less than what you're getting on the Fire Conductor. But when you are spamming out those shots people and hitting that weak point on that boss it just seems to me to be doing more total damage and that's why i choose this over the fire conductor but that choice is obviously yours but what about mental focus well if you play on glay it's really an old brainer and this is the mod you should be using but for me on my bunny the Gurkha's Reverse Fate mag is too small to see any benefits from this. So yes, unless you're using Galay, I don't really think the mental focus is for the Gurkha's Reverse Fate. But hey, that's just my opinion. In my opinion, guys, I'd definitely go with Real Life Fighter without a shadow of a doubt. But again, that is just my opinion. Yours may differ, that's fine. But as I've tested, this is definitely the best choice for me, a non galay user. And there we have it guys, the Greg's Reverse Fate. Now before we do end the video to say thank you for the amazing support I've had on this game, I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants or the equivalent in that caliber. As you know, unlike some, my giveaways are actually legit so i'll pick one person on a weekly basis who supports me by liking and commenting on my videos also make sure you are subbed the more i see you the more of a chance you have of winning winners will be picked and announced at the end of the week so good luck everybody also guys join my discord link down below let's build an amazing first descendant army 
Well, there we have it, guys. The end of the video has arrived. Guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.